Hi, this is Marissa from Flex VFX. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add more photos to the 100 Photo Slideshow template. So in this tutorial, let's say you needed to add 10 more photos, of which would be one animated scene, to our template that's already been customized. Um, what you want to do first is make sure that you save your project, your original, and then we'll go to File, Save As, and you want to save a copy. So you'll click that. I have already have a copied save, so I'm going to hit cancel. What you want to do is open your copied project. And if you go to File, Open Recent Projects, uh, it should be in this list here. We're going to open our copied version. And I'm going to show you what I did here. The extra scene we're going to add is the scene 01 from this copied version. So what I did was I went to our project panel, I imported our new photos, and then I went to the Replace Images Here folder, and I replaced all the images in the Photo Scene 01 folder. So if you scrub through the timeline, you'll see that we have a new set of photos that are being featured, and the background photos stay the same because they're uh, sort of randomly put back there. And since you already customize this template with your first set of 100 photos, you won't have to put in another set of 100 unless you wanted to. So now that we have that done, we want to save this uh, template if you haven't already done that. Then we wanna go back and open up our original After Effects template that we customized. And then we're gonna to go to File, Import, File. And we're going to select our copy After Effects file and it's gonna have a .aep a file extension and click open. And After Effects is going to import copied file as a folder. If you twirl open that folder, uh, you're going to find all the assets and comps and solids that are associated with that After Effects file. So if we go to our scenes folder, make sure you are in the copied uh, version inside that folder. Go to the Scenes folder, twirl that down. We're going to go to Photo Scenes and select Scene 01. We'll go to our Render Comp, and we're just going to drag this into our final comp. So now we have our new set of photos that we added. And what you want to do is edit this into your current timeline. So we're going to drag this over to the towards the end of this timeline. We're going to go to um, composition, composition settings, and change the duration. Because if we're going to add more photos, we obviously want to make this a little bit longer. So we're just going to add another 20 seconds. Change the duration, click OK. And so if we zoom out here, we're going to move a few layers over. So we're going to move our fade, our fade out layer. We're going to extend this paper texture and just by dragging sort of the end of that, we're going to select our closing logo scene layer and move it over. And in this gap here in our timeline, you can see there's nothing. We're going to add our scene 01. Oh, there it is. So now we can edit all of these layers together and sort of make sure that they start where the one before it ends. And we want to move this over a little bit. So here we have our photo 100, and then we start over again with our new set of photos, photo 01, from our copied template that we customized. So that's the process for adding more placeholders and extending the time for the 100 photo slideshow. You could even, in the copied version, redo all of the placeholders and put in entirely new set of photos and then add those photos or add those scenes actually to your original and then render a super long timeline and create a really big video or if you are happy with your first set of 100 you can just render a quicktime movie and then go to your copied version of the file render a quicktime movie of the new set of photos and then render those two quicktime movies together so you would just add those to a timeline, edit them together, and then render another quick time. So I hope that this was helpful to you. If you ever have any questions, uh, you can send me an email or leave a comment. 
Thanks for watching.